the, these images, as we we'll see as this unit unfolds, are controversial, and, and there's many, many different approaches to them. Uh, but they were controversial at the time, and Worcester himself was not a obscure man. He was deeply involved in controversies. He was a pioneer. He was very well known at the time, and he had many critics both in the U.S. and in the Philippines themselves. He's not just coming out of the university. He's an, a bureaucrat. He's an administrator, and eventually he becomes a capitalist making a fortune in the Philippines when he retires from this service. So there's a lot going on there. Tell us about this man, Dean. Worcester. What was he like? Yeah. Well, Dean Worcester was born in 1866 um, in Thetford, Vermont, a, a distinguished New England family. Um, his father was a doctor and a naturalist and gave him an interest in the natural sciences. He uh, came to the University of Michigan to attend college uh, where he studied zoology, and his first trip to the Philippines took place in the context of a zoological collecting expedition with uh, U of M zoologist uh, Joseph Beale Steer. And Worcester and three other students traveled to the Philippines uh, for a year, uh, visiting 15 islands and collecting zoological specimens, birds primarily, for the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology. Worcester became en entranced by the Philippines then, and after he graduated, he and a fellow student, Frank Bournes, returned to the Philippines in 1890. They were there for two and a half years, added several more islands to their itinerary, collected many more uh, biological specimens. Uh, Worcester re then returned to the University of Michigan in 1893, got married, um, took up a faculty position teaching zoology, and prepared his first book, The Philippine Islands and Their People, which was a compilation of letters he had written home during his travels, uh, as well as his own notes on the Philippines, which came out, uh, was published in 1898, uh, right as the Spanish-American War uh, was taking place, and it caught the attention of President McKinley. Uh, and McKinley brought Worcester to Washington and then invited him to come to the Philippines as a member of the First and Second Philippine Commission, which debated the future of U.S. colonialism in the Philippines and established the colonial government. And once that government was established, Worcester was appointed Secretary of the Interior of the colonial government, responsible for a number of different departments, including non-Christian tribes and people, which is the source of many of the photographs in our collection. Worcester remained Secretary of the Interior until 1913, uh, when, as a controversial figure, he was essentially forced out of office. Uh, he stayed in the Philippines, though, for the rest of his life as uh, president of the Philippine American Company, uh, which oversaw economic investments, plantations, and other things in the Philippines. And he passed away in the Philippines in 1924.